I'd like to pull in a GitHub logo on the login view and for this we use the image component. And as with the other components before, we need to pull it in from the React module first. Ok, now we can use it in our markup definition. Let's give it a style rule even though we still need to define this style rule later on. To tell the component which image to display, we use the source attribute. And in here we use a special syntax to require an image and a convention in here to point it to an image in the app's manifest. When we save that, it gives us this error. It didn't know what on earth I meant with the image octocat value. That's because I still need to make that image part of the app. This is one of the few times that you will have to work with Xcode once you have launched your React Native app. I'm going to add a bunch of images to the project, so that our React Native code can reference them. To do this we find the images.exe assets file and click on this little plus over here. I've got a bunch of images that I want to import in this folder, so I just select all of them. Ok, now our app contains these images in its bundle. This is also one of the few times you will need to stop and start the app from Xcode, which I'm doing now. Ok, no error anymore, but also no image. That's because our image element needs dimensions given to it. This I specify through creating a logo property on our style definition, giving the image a width of 66 and a height of 55. Remember we referenced this logo rule on our image tag earlier on. We don't need to specify any units like pixels with iOS, just a number. Cool, our logo image is rendering right at the top here. To move it down, I need to specify some additional rules on the container element. I give it some padding at the top, looks better, and align its children in the middle. Also better. Align items is a flexbox attribute in case it seems unfamiliar to you.